More American workers are switching careers and going back to school. Workers looking for new skills or unsatisfied with their jobs. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet joins us live with a unique program that fulfills a need for nurses in doing it in 16 months instead of four years. Chris? And Eric, if you look at surveys, 21% of full time employees will quit their jobs and switch to another job this year. But some of those people are successful professionals and they are pitching those careers to follow their passions. Deb Hayek just graduated from nursing school, but why she became a nurse is a story by itself. My son sees a full page ad for this Marion Accelerated, St. Vincent's Accelerated program in the Sunday paper and he leaves it on the kitchen counter and says, this is what you were supposed to do, Mom. Deb, a practicing family law attorney, volunteered weekly for years at Riley Hospital for Children. It was there that her passion for nursing took off. I just spent time taking care of these kids, and I thought, I think this is what I was supposed to do. Deb is part of an increasing number of American workers who are changing careers. According to a career builder survey, one in five plan to change jobs this year. Deb enrolled in Marion University's accelerated nursing program. Instead of going back to college for four years, she became an RN in only 16 months. They've got some life maturity, life skills, a lot of them have families, and something doesn't feel right. They feel like they need to give back or want to make a difference. But it's not just career changers that enter the rigorous nursing program. Some are seniors in college. Others are recent grads in the workforce. Deb finished the program in May and is looking for a job as a forensic nurse. Like my kids say, all you talk is nurse now because I'll say, oh, that you could aspirate on that or something. <laughs> like, do you ever talk normal again? I'm like, oh, come on. A woman who left a successful career to pursue a dream that in less than a year and a half came true. And we do know that people are going back to school in order to get the information, the skills that they need to switch jobs. But the number of middle aged students that are going to college, graduate school, and technical schools is projected to continue to rise to 4.1 million by next year. Live downtown, Chris Profit, RTV6.